that's for sure. No, it's not Zinio. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it seems like he's playing without sound. That's very interesting. The players, by the way, cannot hear us. Because, no, no, no. Uh, We're not on speakers right now. Yeah. And they're far away. So. Yeah. So don't worry, guys. Yep. Don't have to freak out. So, guys, indeed, as we do have Yeki going to be spawning down in our bottom right-hand corner here as our blue Zerg. And spawning up to the top left-hand corner, we have Liquid Zinio, the victor of our previous ZVZ in a very, very convincing fashion in regards to, well, again, Yeki. He, I, I still think he felt like he had to make something happen, but the mm. impatience just just did not work out too well and it just it never does when it, i guess if you split your corruptors super well yeah. and make it really cost inefficient for those fungals then sure but they weren't split well they, they <laughs> no they it, were it, really clumped up yes, actually very like much so two fungals almost <laughs> 20 corruptors yeah. so uh, but yeah you're right if you split them up re really well i guess um like if a fungal only hits two corruptors each then it might be uh, possible to push in there but i have to say most of the time, it's smarter just to wait. Uh, <laughs> it sounds a bit stupid, but yeah, that's yeah. how it goes <laughs> if you face <laughs> off against a uh, Broodlord Infestor. It's really hard to get a good engagement. So um, I think here we'll see Xenio go for 16 drone Ling all in. Like, uh, it's just the map to do it on. He's one game up after a really long drawn out game. It, it's a very, very strong possibility, and it's really, really powerful on this map. Really but powerful. Like. Do you think it would make sense? Because Yeki actually had a really good wall in the first map and also had some it's defensive true. bane links. So I think uh, his setup was really good to prevent such uh, like super aggressive Zergling builds. But let's see, maybe he will change it up this time because he feels he needs to cut a bit more corners mm -hmm. to get uh, ahead in the mid game or late game. So yeah. Maybe, maybe. Maybe he won't get that um, evolution chamber as quickly as he did. Because I mean, mm. fundamentally at the very beginning, that was for the wall, but Oh, actually, it was for the plus one armor. Yeah, he got yeah, the yeah. armor really quickly as well. Mm. Which is really, really important. Um, it's not as important when you're going up against someone who is just going for some kind of Ling or Lin thing. I mean, I'm, st I'm not saying it's definitely going to happen. I just feel that on this map, if you are one up, it can be such a strong option. Really strong. If you just, you know, attribute like a ton of uh, rounds of lava for that kind of play, it's very, very hard to deal with. Yeah, let's see. I'm. I mean, we did see 15 hedge for for Yaki and then uh, pool gas. While on the other side, we did see. I think it was pool gas hedge, or uh, because I think his gas was yeah, pretty quick. Yeah, Yeah, he's yeah he's getting speed already. Ah, uh, uh, he's getting two queens. So that indicates so that's to me maybe that's he's too not much already. <laughs> yeah, maybe he's not going to go for like some uh. crazy like 16, 20 drone uh, zergling all in or whatever. Mm. I'm not saying he takes the drones with him. I'm just giving no, no, the count. No, no, no. I, I know what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you mean. <laughs> Yaki is getting two queens. Um, standard setup. Speed on the way. Both are still mining gas once again. And uh, both... No, wait. Xenio is getting his uh, bailing nest. Yeah. And uh, let's see if Yaki will create a little wall once again at his natural. And he's been mining quite a lot of gas. So, I mean, normally you would just see... If, if it was like really defensively minded banelings then maybe two guys on gas but leaving those guys on gas he might end up getting a little aggressive here he's got the two lings out he's mm. getting two more uh, so he might try and find a little bit of a hole a little bit of a poke but for the most part it looks as if he wants to just go into a bit more of a macro game and I mean after game one I don't blame him too much like uh, just the way in which he played out against Yeki he realized that Yeki wasn't like, aggressive at all yeah he was game yeah so maybe that's maybe that gives him some comfort. Yeah. Yeah, you're actually right. He wasn't aggressive at all. Only a few like roach pokes in the mid game where he tried to yeah. kill some drones yeah. and stuff, but he had to waste the supply anyway, so uh yeah, you're definitely right. And Zinio did the small poke in the early game and he's gonna morph in two bane links and yet he can't see it because his overlord spread is just not perfect in front of his natural. So maybe they can deal some damage. But on the other hand, Yaki is getting six banelings on his own. Mm. And the one disadvantage of that wall is that they take quite a while to get around there to actually oh. deal with that. The Zerglings ah. are actually going to get run in here from Xenio. Meanwhile, the banelings flooding in oh. as well. He gets that a few drones for his troubles. That was a big mess. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I think Yaki... Uh, now he's attacking his own hedge, okay. Ah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. Stabilize, has to stabilize. Yeah, it's everything, fine. everything <laughs> is fine. Okay. There's still one Zergling alive. Zinio's chasing. <laughs> he like jukes. <laughs> He's like, I'm going back. He's I'll gonna hang make over a here. out of it. 
He might actually do that. It will not help because drones yeah. don't die to one mainling, but... That one will. Yeah, that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know! Go back, Circling! <laughs> Go back! He's gonna waste the mainling! Yeah. Oh. oh, good job, Queen. To. Good job, Queen. All right. Okay, so now, <laughs> now we are stabilized. Meanwhile, Spike Crawler's on the way for Xenio, keeping his wall going, and Leia just morphing in for both players. Evolution Chamber on the way, actually, for Xenio as well, so I'm interested to see what both players are going to go in terms of upgrades. It's probably just going to be the range, uh, to be honest with you. And once again, range weapon. Qu quicker guesses for Yeki. So, do you, th like, do you think we might going to see Mutalisks? Muta, Muta, Muta. Mm -hmm, um, there's one Evolution Chamber down, that's normally an indication ah. of, like, Infestation Pit, but... I mean, he's not upgrading, right? Xenio's getting his armor Where upgrade. Where is evolution chamber? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, Xenio's so getting, getting his armor upgrade, and Yeki, let's see. Yeah, he's going to get the Spire in the main base. Yeah. There we go. Tuck. Oh, both are going to oh. go. <laughs> okay, brain. Okay, so I guess, in essence, the, the Zerg ground carapace is actually pretty good if you keep your Zerglings with Mutalisks. Mm. So when you're going into, like, a Muta versus Muta fight, it would work pretty well. Because, you know, if they absorb bounces, then they're absorbing even a little bit more damage. Uh, it's, it's rare that they end up absorbing the damage, though, so... But still, it's an yeah. interesting dynamic. Yeki is killing one of the Banelings here. And Xenio tries to do some damage here, but... Oh, and that was wasted Baneling, but and he's going to probably lose one more Baneling, yeah. So that was good defense by Yeki here. And the Spire is almost exactly the same timing. I even don't mind this too much at all on this map because this map's known in ZVZ pr pretty much for like high mobility engagements, high mobility run buys. Every single little avenue, like on the sides of the map, mm. uh, end up, you know, you put people put down overlords all over the place in those locations. So both players anticipating that, wanting to get some map control, trying to establish their thirds, their fourths, etc. And it actually does lead on quite nicely into that late game of the. Uh, Broodlord Infestor. <laughs> Did Jackie just scout the Spire? Because he's making four uh, Spore Crawlers. I guess uh, so. Two at his natural, two at his main base. And no, he actually didn't scout the Spire. Wow, what? a huge Baneling detonation there. Hmm. <laughs> and Xenia needs reader. to be a bit careful here in the middle of the map because there are um, Banelings for for Yeki while Xenia doesn't have any Banelings with his army. Uh, I mean, well, we just have <sighs> the seven Zergling uh, st uh, Mutalists on the way for each player until mm. we have Yeki now jumping up to a few more here. So plenty of Mutalists on the way for him. He might have a little bit of an advantage, but Xenia will end up having a carapace yeah. uh, before his opponent. So yeah. if the timing comes, then sure, he could actually do quite a bit of damage. Yeah, that's. I think it's so <coughs> important to upgrade your Mutalists wide array yeah. uh, if you want to commit to them. And also Xenio, as you mentioned earlier, does have the plus one on his uh, Zerglings, the armor, of mm -hmm. course. So he will have uh, two upgrade advantages here in uh, like two minutes. And Xenio actually wants to push forward. All the Zerglings are on the side of uh, Yaki's map here. But nah, okay. Decides to, to move back. Because uh, I learned in ZVZ, <coughs> once yep. the Mutalisks hit each other, you can actually do moving shot. Like, you can chase the Mutalisk if your opponent flies away, and you can still get some shots off, which can yep. be very, very dangerous Ooh. if you once get caught uh, in a weird position. Xenio is having Zerglings down he, yeah. at the third base here. He just and had Zerglings everywhere trying to put on a little bit of pressure. He's going to kill the Queen here, and a few drones, really good by... Uh, very nice poke here by Xenio. Meanwhile, more Zerglings heading up into the natural as well here. Mm. Xenio just sending them everywhere. And the great thing about his carapace as well is, uh, we already said it before, but, you know, being able to soak up the bailing shots always very, very useful in itself. But if Xenio goes when this carapace finishes up, he's going to be in a tremendous position. Like, I, he doesn't know that his opponent doesn't have... I mean, he knows he's upgrading because he just saw the Spire upgrading with his Zerglings, but... He, he doesn't mm. know how far that is ahead. So there's always that little bit of apprehension uh, in your mind to know when you want to push in. Yeah, and once again, Zerglings uh, being sent around, some to the third base, some to the natural. <coughs> but both both will actually be cleaned up very easy, I think. Yeah. Oh. And we do have the Mutalist count of 18 against 16. Uh, some more Mutalists on the way. So it's very, very even. And as you said, it's only... Like right now, the only advantage he has is the armor upgrade, but he doesn't really know. Now they are fighting. Oh. Armor against non-armor, but both decide to retreat here. Xenio could have won that fight if he'd have committed, but I mm. mean, he'll pull back for now. Meanwhile, we just have them dancing still. <laughs> he technically can still win the fight for a few seconds, but that will kick in and, I mean, just even things out just a little bit. I mean, here we go, though. Oh, this is so sick. Like, yeah. <laughs> Mutalist against Mutalist. Reminds me a bit of Warcraft 3, Gargoyle against Gargoyle. Yeah, for just those back. who played Warcraft 3, they will know what I mean. 
It's a weird fight where you it's really hard to control and you don't really know if you're gonna win or not. You like land them, don't you? And they like heal yeah, up. Yeah, you and can stuff land them, but you didn't do that in no? Undead versus Undead. Oh, no. okay. What it did was you do then? Too expensive. You just a moved and hope you're gonna win the fight. What? <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, you use some items to. <laughs> like to heal them and you yep. use the frost nova to slow them down stuff like that but oh god it's like yucky's yucky's mutilous i mean they're fearsome but they're so clumped up i'm really scared for this infested transition that's gonna come on like it's oh not, yeah you're right it's not right now of course but mm. just in case it ends up happening very he, soon it's really important <coughs> that he scouts the infestation pit i believe yeah, yeah so that he's aware of that Ah, uh, now we're gonna have Mutalist against Mutalist. The Zerglings are underneath the Mutalist, as you m mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. The bounce attack of the Mutalist will also hit some of the Zerglings, so that's definitely uh, an advantage if you can use that. And Yaki will actually push uh, to the third base here with a lot of Banelings! Yeah, Zerglings oh! on the way as well. Banelings trying oh. to crush a few of those Zerglings. Do connect with a few of them, but they're still on the way to actually clean this up. Right now, just Muters versus Muters. Chaos ensues as all of the Muters go in from one another. Right now, though... I think Yuki oh, can win this fight. He can? It's, it's, yeah. it's 17 against 12. He's winning this fight. It's 19 against 12 Mutalists. Oh, but this is so... There's a spore. This oh. is relatively lucky here by Yeki. I'll come to that in just a second. But now, Xenio, I mean, he's trying to push it back as best he can do. Oh. Nice transfuses on the Queens. Tries to keep them alive. It's enough DPS right now to just push him back slightly. But he's done so much damage. He's killed 22 workers off during all of this, Hasu. Yeah, that's that was a really good move by Yeki here. Killed a lot of workers. He's still killing some more drones. Can he get the spore and maybe the queen? Yeah, the spore goes down and the Zergling's running away. Okay. And so the one reason that that was relatively lucky for Yeki then is because Xenio didn't have the plus one weapons that had just finished like a few seconds ago. Mm. So if he'd have gone for that, I mean, he would have still killed a lot of drones, yeah, which would have been great, but he would have lost uh, probably a few more of his mutalists, which mm. isn't exactly the best spot to be in. Um, and right now... Still, I have to say, like, w we do see Yeki against Xenio here, and Yeki is a rather unknown player. And yeah, he's, he's doing he's well. He's giving, like, a really, really good show so far. And I mean, he's ahead in supply by... Twi by 30 supply right now and he's maybe being able to kill some more drones or mutalists here yeah he's coming in he shouldn't be taking this fight though those mutalists are pretty healthy and they do have plus one one as opposed mm. to plus one zero right now yeki is taking an expansion behind this he is legit i mean in my opinion on course to win this game like i mean right now at least he's 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 standing toe to toe with xenio he's doing a good job of it uh, and he's actually gonna move in with some bailings here trying to find a little bit of a spot in the natural Whoa. and they connect really nicely there from yeki once again yeki's finding holes everywhere here in xenio's play and Zen uh xenio has a hard time to defend both like the zerglings and the mutalists uh, the mutalists of yeki could now kill the queens here on the right side of the map while the zerglings are still harassing in the natural yeah. so really good control by yeki sending in more and more zerglings all the time yeah and all the while this happens yeki behind it is getting his fourth base up and running and that's exactly what he wants to do he's happy as long as xenio is pinned oh. back in his base he's happy as long as he's keeping his drone count down he's happy to do all of this he's limiting so much production by killing off the queens over and over mm. and over as well it's it's really nicely played by him we do have 30 mutalists against 30 and both are yeah keep making mutalists right right now because yeah. Zinio is afraid to make the infestors even though he wanted to to switch at some point uh <laughs> it's gonna be i mean Zinio has one one upgrades as you mentioned earlier so he can definitely take this fight I think that right now, I, I mean, it's just <sighs> Muta versus Muta. Actually, nice transfuse is there by Yeki as well. He's. It looks, I think Xenio's going to uh, get pushed back. The Zerglings are on the way. They're going to yeah. absorb the bounces. Xenio can't fight anymore. He's forced back to retreat. Uh, but uh, what was I going to say? I think Xenio here, I, I think he just, on the path that he keeps continuing with, I think he just doesn't win at all. I think he has to take the gamble uh, and somehow accrue some gas to make that investor mm. switch and try and land those money fungals. If that he gets like one really in. good fungal, yeah. yeah, he could win the game. Once again, Mutalist against Mutalist. The Zerglings of Yeki are not here. I don't know why, because he has totally ground control right now, but it's still he's winning the fight. He's sending his Zerglings to the right side of the map now. It's going to kill the hatchery here. And yeah, Yeki will actually win the second map here. Xenio is going to be... Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be 1-1. One, one. It's going to be 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Yeki's playing phenomenally here in mm. game number two. And for all my predictions at the very beginning, hell no, Yeki, man, he's he's here for ZVZ. He's bringing it. <laughs> and, I mean, this is this is such a strong force for him by right now. He's got 101 Zerglings to his opponent's 13. He could win with these Zerglings alone. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna just going to move in. Yeah. He's going to kill the third base. The Mutalus of Xenio. Yeah, GG. GG. Wow. By the way, he's from Singapore, right? So... Okay. Yeki, man. Yeki is from Singapore, right? Wow. Yeah. yeah. We do. Yeah, we do see. We have a few people cheering here for yeah. Yeki on so. the side. Wow.
impressive play there by Yeki. Re I Good play, yeah, I have to say. I mean, as you said, a bit lucky when he took the first big fight because Zinio was about to finish 1-1. But then again, uh, he did so much damage. He would have still killed drones anyway, yeah, though. Yeah, he would yeah. have killed he a lot of drones killed. anyways, yeah. And after that, he did everything right. I mean, he was behind in upgrades, but he kept making mutilists, he kept getting a fourth base, additional gases. Yeah, yeah. And then he kept trading, like, zerglings for zerglings while he got more and more mutilists. So, yeah, really good job. Yeah. Was it impressive? It's...